The Legend of the Skies is back and ready for action. The F-15 Eagle, an aircraft that has dominated air superiority for decades, returns in a new avatar, the F-15EX Eagle II. How does an aircraft, first designed in the 1970s, continue to hold relevance in modern warfare? The answer lies in its extensive upgrades and advanced capabilities, which promises to redefine what this classic fighter can do. Critics may question the need for a non-stealth aircraft in an era dominated by fifth-generation fighters, but the F-15EX is here to prove its worth. With unmatched payload capacity, advanced avionics, and a versatility that complements stealth fighters, it stands poised to silence its detractors. Is it possible for an upgraded version of an older aircraft to outshine its newer counterparts? Can the Eagle II demonstrate that sometimes the future of air combat lies in the evolution of the past? Today, we'll go through the story behind this fighter jet and its crucial role in the U.S. Air Force and Air National Guard. The F-15 platform has a distinguished history, originating in the late 1960s when the United States Air Force identified the need for a superior air superiority fighter. This need became evident during the Vietnam War, highlighting the limitations of existing aircraft. To address these challenges, the USAF initiated the development of the F-15 Eagle, which first flew in 1972. Designed with a dual-engine configuration, the Eagle offered unmatched power and speed, featuring advanced avionics and a design focused on maneuverability and combat performance. It quickly became a cornerstone of the U.S. Air Force's fleet, setting numerous records and proving its worth in various combat scenarios. In response to evolving military needs, the F-15E Strike Eagle was introduced in 1986 as a more versatile, multi-role fighter. It can be considered a precursor to the F-15EX, whose development in 2021 marks the latest chapter in the evolution of this storied platform and represents the culmination of decades of advancements and operational experience. But what exactly pushed USAF to focus on the Eagle II? Its development emerged from a critical need to address several challenges facing the United States Air Force in the 2010s and beyond. In the aftermath of the Cold War and following budget cuts, the USAF deferred and scaled down its modernization plans. This led to a projected shortfall in its fighter fleet size during the 2020s. The original plan to replace the fleet of air superiority F-15A to D fighters with more than 380 F-22s was curtailed to just 187 units by 2009. Indeed, in 2009, the production of the Raptor was officially halted due to budget constraints and changing defense strategies. To maintain adequate numbers of air superiority fighters, the USAF planned to extend the service life of 179 F-15CD into the 2030s. This upgrade, known as the F-15-2040C, or Golden Eagle program, included several enhancements. But despite these upgrades, the aging F-15CD fleet was becoming economically unsustainable by the mid-2010s. To bridge the gap left by the delayed F-35 program and the aging CD fleet, Boeing began developing the F-15 Advanced Eagle family for export customers. The F-15SA, Saudi Advanced, and F-15QA, Qatari Advanced, were substantial updates that laid the groundwork for the F-15EX. Studies indicated that a mix of fourth and fifth generation fighters would allow the USAF to recapitalize its fleet more affordably. This led to the proposal of the F-15X, later designated as the F-15EX, based on the F-15QA design. The Air Force opted for the two-seat EX model due to its enhanced capabilities and the existing production line, minimizing startup costs. Additionally, restarting F-22 production was deemed cost prohibitive due to the high non-recurring costs associated with rebuilding the production line and sourcing new parts vendors. Therefore, the Eagle II provided a more viable alternative. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. Now, let's have a look at the features that set this fighter jet apart. The F-15EX, while incorporating many advancements, retains the iconic look that has defined the F-15 series for decades. Externally, it closely resembles its predecessors, maintaining the twin-engine layout, high-mounted straight wings, and distinctive twin vertical stabilizers. This familiar design helps with easier integration into existing maintenance and operational frameworks, as personnel are already accustomed to the aircraft's structure. It is powered by two General Electric F110GE129 engines, 
each capable of producing 29,000 pounds of thrust. This powerful engine configuration allows the aircraft to reach speeds of up to Mach 2.5, approximately 1,650 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest fighter jets in the world, surpassing the top speeds of both the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. However, the true evolution of the F-15EX lies within. One of the most significant upgrades is the introduction of digital fly-by-wire flight controls. This advanced system replaces traditional mechanical controls with electronic interfaces, allowing for more precise maneuverability and improved flight safety. This upgrade enhances the aircraft's overall performance, making it more agile and responsive during combat operations. Inside the cockpit, the EX boasts large interactive touchscreens that provide pilots with intuitive access to critical flight information and mission data. These modern interfaces streamline operations and reduce pilot workload, enabling more efficient decision-making during high-pressure situations. Complementing these upgrades is an advanced mission computer, which offers unprecedented processing power to handle complex combat scenarios and data integration from multiple sensors. Also, one of its standout features is the Eagle Passive Active Warning and Survivability System, or EPWSS. This system significantly boosts the aircraft's defensive capabilities by providing enhanced situational awareness and electronic protection. It can detect and identify potential threats from enemy radar and missile systems, actively jamming and deceiving these threats to improve the aircraft's survivability in hostile environments. The F-15EX also employs the Raytheon AN APG-82 radar, the latest in American aircraft radar technology. This radar system uses X-band Doppler pulses to detect a wide range of targets, from high-speed hypersonic missiles to small ground vehicles. The radar's advanced capabilities ensure that the aircraft can maintain situational awareness and target acquisition in various combat scenarios. Its AESA, Active Electronically Scanned Array, technology makes the radar harder to jam and allows for simultaneous tracking and targeting of multiple threats. Additionally, the jet is equipped with the Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod, which enhances its ground strike capabilities. This pod features a FLIR, forward-looking infrared camera, that allows for observation and targeting through smoke, clouds, and low-light conditions. It offers superior targeting precision, further expanding its versatility in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The F-15EX also serves as a force multiplier with its Legion pod, which allows it to share targeting data with other aircraft. This capability enhances cooperative engagement and situational awareness across the fleet, providing a strategic advantage in coordinated operations. Another revolutionary aspect is its open mission system architecture. This design philosophy allows for rapid and straightforward software and hardware upgrades. Instead of being limited by a fixed set of capabilities, the Eagle II can easily integrate new technologies as they become available. It's also worth mentioning the discussion about conformal fuel tanks, CFTs. These specially designed fuel tanks attach closely to the aircraft's fuselage, providing additional fuel capacity without significantly affecting the aircraft's aerodynamic profile. Unlike traditional underwing drop tanks, these ones are integrated into the aircraft's structure, reducing drag and preserving the aircraft's maneuverability and speed. In the initial testing phases, the aircraft did use CFTs. However, the first operational units of the F-15EX are not currently equipped with them. The absence of these tanks limits the aircraft's range and reduces the number of external pods and air-to-ground weapons it can carry. Nevertheless, the U.S. Air Force is seeking funds to begin procuring CFTs, suggesting that future batches of the jet might be equipped with these tanks to enhance their operational capabilities. For now, the lack of these tanks is not seen as a major drawback for the initial homeland defense and short-range missions typically performed by the Air National Guard. However, for extended missions and scenarios where tanker support may not be readily available, the addition of CFTs could be crucial. The Eagle II stands out primarily due to its impressive weapons and payload capabilities. One of the key advancements in this aircraft is the introduction of advanced missile and bomb ejector racks. These racks significantly increase the payload capacity, enabling the aircraft to carry up to 29,000 pounds of ordnance. This includes a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions, providing unparalleled versatility in combat scenarios. 
It can carry up to 12 AMRAAM air-to-air -air missiles, known for its reliability and effectiveness, a notable improvement over previous models. This capability allows the F-15EX to engage multiple targets simultaneously, providing a substantial advantage during missions. In addition to its air-to-air -air capabilities, it is equipped to carry JASM cruise missiles. These long-range, precision-guided munitions are designed to strike high-value, well-defended targets from a distance, minimizing the risk to the aircraft and its pilot. The aircraft's payload capacity extends to oversized munitions, such as hypersonic missiles currently in development. These hypersonic missiles, which can be as long as 22 feet and weigh about 7,000 pounds, represent a significant advancement in modern warfare, capable of defeating enemy countermeasures due to their speed and trajectory. Unlike stealth aircraft, which must carry weapons internally to maintain their low radar profile, the EX utilizes traditional hard mounts on the wings and fuselage. This design choice not only allows it to carry more munitions, but also provides the flexibility to accommodate a variety of weapon types. When comparing the Eagle II's payload capacity with other aircraft, it becomes clear why this jet is considered a game changer. The F-35 Lightning II, while highly advanced in stealth and technology, is limited by its internal weapons bay, carrying fewer munitions to maintain its stealth profile. In contrast, the F-15EX, unburdened by the need for stealth in many of its roles, can carry a larger and more varied payload externally. This ability to carry a mix of heavy ordnance sets it apart from other fighter jets. While the F-35 excels in stealth and advanced avionics, and the F-22 Raptor leads in air dominance with its superior maneuverability and stealth, the F-15EX stands out for its sheer payload capacity and adaptability. This makes it an ideal choice for missions requiring sustained firepower and operational flexibility. The Eagle II plays a crucial role in both the U.S. Air Force and the Air National Guard, and the ANG has received priority for the allocation of these aircraft. This is because many of the ANG's missions, such as national airspace defense and rapid response missions, can significantly benefit from the enhanced capabilities of the fighter jet. In June 2024, the first F-15EX made its debut landing at the Portland Air National Guard base, marking a significant milestone for the 142nd Wing, the first operational unit to receive the new aircraft. Lieutenant General Michael A. Lowe, the director of the U.S. Air National Guard, has spoken highly of the EX, emphasizing its operability and numerous benefits. He highlighted that this fighter jet is designed for rapid integration of new weapons and sensors, which allows for quick adaptation to evolving threats. Lowe also noted that the aircraft's advanced systems enable rapid reprogramming, enhancing its effectiveness in modern warfare. According to him, this jet surpasses the capabilities of the older F-15E, making it a game-changer for the Air National Guard. The Eagle II is expected to achieve initial operational capability by July 2024, with full operational capability planned for 2027. Unsurprisingly, like all decisions involving the military-industrial complex, the introduction of the F-15EX has had its share of controversies and criticisms. One major point of contention is the cost comparison with the F-35. While the Eagle II is initially more expensive than the F-35A, with a flyaway cost between $90 and $97 million, compared to the F-35A's approximately $82.5 million, it offers lower long-term operating costs. The F-15EX costs about $29,000 per flight hour, which is about a third less than the F-35A's $43,000 per hour. However, the rising costs of the new jet have raised eyebrows. As the program progresses, these costs continue to climb, leading to debates over the aircraft's financial viability and value for money. The overall cost of the Eagle II program, including development, acquisition, and military construction, is projected to be around $12.47 billion. The U.S. Department of Defense ordered eight Eagle IIs in July 2020 for $1.2 billion. The fiscal year 2021 defense appropriations funded an additional 12 aircraft, bringing the total to 20, with a planned procurement of 144. However, this number was later reduced to 80 by May 2022. The proposed budget for fiscal 2024 includes funds to procure 24 more F-15EXs, potentially bringing the fleet to 104 aircraft. Another significant debate revolves around the need for a non-stealth aircraft in modern warfare. 
Critics argue that the EX, lacking stealth capabilities, may be less effective in highly contested environments where stealth is crucial for survival. In contrast, proponents highlight the aircraft's substantial payload capacity and advanced avionics, which provide tactical advantages in scenarios where stealth is less critical. The Eagle II can carry up to 13.6 tons of weapons, significantly more than previous F-15 models, and has been tested with up to 12 air-to-air -air missiles. This debate reflects broader strategic considerations about the balance between stealth and firepower in current and future military operations. Military analysts have also weighed in on the decision to replace aging F-15s with the F-15EX. Some analysts support the move, citing the need for a reliable and familiar platform that can be quickly integrated into the existing infrastructure. Its advanced systems and extended operational life of 20,000 hours make it an appealing option for maintaining air superiority without the extensive training and logistical adjustments required for a completely new aircraft. However, other analysts question whether investing in upgrading an older airframe is the best use of resources, suggesting that further investment in newer, more advanced aircraft might be a more forward-looking strategy. While the F-15EX may not match the survivability of the fifth-generation F-22 and F-35 against the latest air defenses, it supplements these aircraft in various roles. It can perform homeland and air-based defense, enforce no-fly zones against limited air defenses, and deploy outsized standoff weapons in support of stealth fighters on the front line. These roles make the Eagle II a versatile and valuable asset in the USAF's inventory.